Hello viewers, this is Gamer Zack, and welcome back for more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time, we finished up a Dragon Roost Island obtaining Din's Pearl. This time, we're off to the next island to get the next pearl. Yes. The King of Relies actually hasn't told us why we need to collect these pearls. I wonder if he just want, like wants to sell them or something. I don't know. But I, but yes, I actually do know what am I saying. Anyway, we're gonna come up on this island here. There isn't much to do on this island. Um, there is that platform there, but I recommend staying away from it for now. Because if you get, because if you pass it, there's something not too good. So if you, um, alright, we wanna take the bait that we got. And you're gonna notice this fish here. Since there's a fish here, we are going to throw bait. And then it's gonna eat it. Okay. Holy small fry, yeah, yeah, I've heard chart information about this island, yep. So now we have the island filled in, the shape of the island. Basically what this does, it makes it much easier to find treasures. Like to find tre sunken treasure that's just shown by treasure charts. Because... Let me show you something. Um, so if you were to open a chart, like this chart here, it's gonna show a treasure and an island relative to it. You can then go here, choose the island you want, and, and it'll show the shape. This helps you find where exactly where, treasure, where treasures are. So yeah, I recommend doing this. So for now we're just gonna sail out of this quadrant and how close am I to that? Uh, not that close. Oh, these rings here. Um, I don't recommend getting them because they only give you like 20 or 50 rupees. It's not that good of a reward. So yeah. Um, this upcoming island, um, it's gonna be really, really important for something later. And you may also notice that there's also night and day here. Certain things happen at night, which I'll get into a bit later. Maybe even this episode, I don't know. Um... Oh, another thing. Your compass is inverted. Like, see, I'm going south if I turn to the left. Say... Oh! That new enemy, it's a uh, Ocean Octorok. I can't give its enemy info because we have nothing to fight it with. I will give it at some other point. Oh, and there's the map fish. Um, oh, it's the same pirate ship that helped us out earlier. Let's go over to it. The other map fish. And yes, there are 45 of these, and we've only found two, two so far, one in each quadrant. Okay. Holy small fry, yeah, yeah, chat information, yep, 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 blah, 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 blah. And we now have this. Nice. Tell me, small fry, have you ever caught a fairy before? Alright, it's telling you about... Fairies and bottles and how it helps you a lot. Well, this upcoming island. It's becoming night. You want to be careful when you're in here at nighttime because this is one of the things that happens at night. You get if depending on the position of the moon, you're gonna notice this ship just randomly sailing around. They hope it isn't that time. Let me put away and look. Okay, I'm still in this quadrant. Let me get the telescope. Yeah, it's, you don't want to come across this thing. It's a full moon. Okay, it's safe. Let me get the bait out again. Want to come to this island? You know. Oh, and to find the map fish, this is a cool hit. If you if you get on the island, then look around. You, um, you should be able to find the map fish, but we don't need to do that because it's right over here. Let 
Come on. There we go. He's probably gonna tell us something about the thing that appears it's on certain nights. I'm gonna read it this one time just to see. Holy small fry chart and information C chart, yep. Here we have this filled in. You want to come sail these nights on nights where the right half of the moon is missing. So yeah, waning half moon. Yeah, so there's this thing that appears on certain nights. Um, I am going... I'm gonna flash on screen r right now with annotations where this thing appears depending on the phases of the moon. So yeah. There you go. Um. Oh, uh, in episode 9 I wanted to sh tell you something about the grappling hook. Well, you can do this with it. You can use it against enemies and get their drops before killing them. Watch. So yeah, it's really helpful. What the heck, you actually did damage to me? That's it, you must die. There. Alright. You wanna get onto the submarine, trust me. The reward is really good. Excellent grammar, gamer Zack. You wanna kill everything in this room. Show no mercy whatsoever. You made me drop rupees, you must die. Okay, where is the rats? But for now, we're just gonna keep on attacking this thing. Oh, you don't actually need to kill the rats. Nice. Let's open this. And look what we get. We get another empty bottle. Yeah, you can have as many as four in this game. So yeah, we can hold more than one thing. So yeah, we can hold more than one thing that can only be held in empty bottles. So yeah, we can have like two fairies or multiple red potions, things like that. So yeah. It's worth coming to this place here. And this is a submarine. I believe there are seven of these throughout the sea. Right, and now we're gonna... Now we get to go to this. This is a sea platform. You may have seen it in a... In a... Whatchamacallit? Um... Right before we came here. So yeah. Like on the fire mountain place, like there was something lurking around it that I said to stay away from. Yeah, this one's safe. No, it's not safe because there's a bunch of things flying around and why did I grab them twice? Let me get your joy pendant and let me kill you. Yay! And then something's gonna pop up. It's a chest. I don't understand how killing two arbitrary Bokoblins makes this chest appear. And in it is a red rupee. Oh great, that's an excellent reward. Yeah, um, okay. Oh, and while I'm at it, I should show the grappling hook's third use. Yes, it has three uses. It is that useful of an item. You go over here, you see this ring? This ring over here? Well. If we see- oh no, dark and stormy, it's dark and stormy, oh no, no, no. Usually when it's dark and stormy, sometimes it, it just foreshadows something bad. Come on. So yeah, I can, you can use it as this crane to grab sunken treasure. This is just an arbitrary sunken treasure. It doesn't really help you. Like, it just gives you a bunch of rupees. Like, watch, it's probably gonna be like 20 or 50 rupees. What do you know? 50 rupees, but I have a maxed out wallet. So I'm just showing you what it does. 
I had no re reason to do that besides showing you. So yeah, grappling hook is one of the best items in the game. Right? These two islands is actually where we need to go right now. Wait. I like coming here in the day, so... Yeah. And basically, certain quadrants, time doesn't pass. Like, like in uh, Forest Haven, Dragon Roost Cavern. Dragon Roost Cavern? Dragon Roost Island? Forsaken Fortress where it's always night. Outside Island. Yeah, certain islands, time doesn't pass at all. Yeah. I should probably cut ahead to when it becomes daytime. So we, yeah, I'm this close to it. Yeah, I just love coming here during the day. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Yeah. And the map fish. But of course, the cinematic won't let us get it. So we have to do it the next time. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? Are you nearsighted too? So yes, we are at the forest haven. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface. So yeah, we're actually on a tree. It's a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you'll that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku tree. You must speak with the Deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Fe Ferrore's Pearl. Yes, Ferrore, the, gar the goddess of courage. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. I have no comment. Whenever it's dancing, it means that there's mail for you. There's for Link, we have one. Here is your letter. To my son, Superior. Thank you very much for looking after my boy. This isn't much, but I hope you'll accept it all the same. I politely request you continue kindness towards my son, Kashiko, Beidou's mother. Yeah, that's the same person from uh, Dragon Roost Island when we did that minigame. Everybody's like, I need to write to my mom about this. Well, yeah, she's writing to us now. And she attached to the letter a piece of heart. So yeah, doing this was worth it. It was so worth it. So let's go up here. And there's going to be a new enemy up here. Maybe even two if I can do this quickly. Because I have already 13 minutes of recording. Here we have the introduction of, of Boko Babas. Heck. Oh, there drops. Boko Baba seeds. You only need four of them. Yeah. You only need four to do what you can do with them. What the? Oh yeah, this thing can eat you. I just let's let's see. Yeah, this thing can actually eat you. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get him back for that right now by killing him. Yeah, because in the world of Zelda, people get people back by killing them. Yeah, um, this one's kind of hard to tell its health because you just have to hit it rapidly because you have to hit it a certain amount of times within a certain amount of time. Yeah, you have to hit, hit it like three times in uh, in a certain amount of seconds, and then you can attack its neck to kill it. But I'm running out of time, so next time on Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we are going to enter the we're going to enter the Forest Sanctuary. So, stay tuned!